Aussie dentists say they're seeing a growing number of patients with damage from do-it-yourself dental procedures. They warn against following life hack clips on social media, which give amateur advice on whitening and straightening. For more, I'm joined by cosmetic dentist Dr Gamma Verdian. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. All right, what sorts of damage are you seeing? Hi, Neralda. Thanks for having me. Uh, we're seeing a lot of damage uh, with, you know, over-the-counter whitening products where we're seeing burn issues happening around the mouth. Uh, another important thing we're concerned about is the loss of enamel through some of these whitening products uh, as it can uh, abrade away the enamel, and that's an irreversible process. The other one is the uh, do-it-yourself uh, do do uh, straightening kits that are causing a lot of uh, issues and sometimes irreversible issues. Uh, and, you know, straightening teeth is something that does need professional monitoring. Uh, and is uh, we, we would love to dissuade that from happening at home. So, Doctor, are people coming to you saying that they have seen social media clips uh, and they've given it a go themselves? Yes. Uh, sometimes they're not really forthcoming with that information at the start, but uh, to most dentists it's pretty obvious. Uh, if uh, teeth have been straightening, you see these really weird gaps, uh, and then after a bit of prodding they are telling us uh, it's it's a tr some kind of a trend they've followed, and they want our help to get them back to health. I mean, we all know how expensive it is to go to a, a, doc a dentist and, and an orthodontist. So can you kind of can you blame people for giving it a go themselves if they see that there's a, a cheaper, quicker alternative? I, I absolutely cannot blame people. Uh, and you know, as as interest rates are going up and cost of living is increasing, uh, we're all going to look for. Uh, cheaper alternatives uh, and dentistry is uh, commonly seen as an expensive uh, expensive spend in, in, in Australia. Uh, but, you know, for, in my opinion, you know, risking your health uh, is probably not the best idea. And some of this stuff done in real moderation with maybe a little bit of monitoring uh, can give some good results with much little risk. Uh, but uh, some of them can cause quite a lot of uh, Dangerous complications, compli dangerous complications. Is there a question here for social media platforms to, to monitor and kind of step in when people are giving advice that could lead to damage and permanent damage? That is uh, definitely a concern for, for my colleagues in my, in my profession. An influencer uh, that uses a product does give some form of social proofing, which uh, indicates that the product is safe and effective. Uh, but that determination should really come for a dental product or a medical product uh, by a professional or a professional organisation like the ADA. Uh, so there's a lot of concern uh, that uh, some of these items have been given a tick uh, without uh, the right expertise to give that tick by influencers. All right. Well, what's your advice to someone who is weighing up whether to give something and go themselves? Uh, I, I would say, uh, you know, we should all be getting regular checkups and cleans. Uh, it is it is definitely something to bring up with your uh, regular dentist uh, and say, hey, I want to give this a go. Uh, something, uh, an example is the activated uh, charcoal toothpaste. I think that's something you can try once or twice and see if it gives you results. Uh, but, the, you know, having a professional give you some involvement uh, will be a uh, huge improvement to having no involvement at all. This is particularly true when we're straightening teeth. Uh, if you are going to straighten your teeth with a do-it-yourself system and that sis and your teeth are in no position to be straightened, you can do some really catastrophic damage by making your cavities worse. Or if you have gum disease or bone-related issues, you can really accelerate that disease. So getting a little bit of a tick of approval uh, from a dentist and, and seeing if they're willing for you to monitor you whilst you try some of this stuff, I think that's a, a nice step to go in the right direction. All right. Thanks, Dr. Gamma Verdi, and appreciate your time at midday. Thanks, uh, Rala. Next.